Hi everyone, Ravi this side. Welcome to Engineering Gadda. So in the previous video, we have created the producer and we have created a couple of uh, DTOs and the entity and we have finally created one producer which is nothing but it is a post API. So now we are going to produce some messages using that producer. Okay, so how we can do that? So let me try to go to the IntelliJ and this is what we have developed in the previous video. Now let me try to make our RabbitMQ up. So RabbitMQ service start and it will take few seconds to be up. So once it is up, you can see it is up. Now let me try to go to the browser. So our RabbitMQ is up on the port number 15672. So just now you have to provide the username and the password so just log in there and now you can see our RabbitMQ dashboard okay so if we'll go in the exchange these are the exchanges that we have in the queue we have this much queue now let me try to make our application up and try to produce something using the producer okay so just run this and wait for a few seconds okay so it is started running now you can see our uh, application is up on the port number 8080 and the producer api is post api okay so the class level mapping is api and then uh, the post api mapping is order okay so in order to hit this api in order to produce some messages using the producer what we need to do we need to go to the postman and try sending this order as a request body okay so now let me go to the postman and here let me try to uh, create the api okay or the url you can say so it is localhost 8080 and then you have to provide the class level mapping which was api and then for the post it is order let me try to cross check it is so it is api and then order right and in the request body we need to provide the order so go to the body and here try to use raw and change the text to the json and now you need to provide the request body here so what all things we have in the order so in order we have id name price and the quantity so come here provide the id let's say it is 101 and let's say the name is uh, order name let's say you are ordering the uh, product as a mobile Okay, and let's say the price is uh, 90,000 and let's say the quantity is one. Okay, so QTY, it is one. So now let me try to cross check it. So ID, name, price and the quantity. This all attributes we have. So our request is ready. We have the API. Now let me try to, and our application is also up. So let me try to hit this API so you can see we are getting this internal server error okay so let me try to go there and try to show you something so here you can see we are getting this error which is illegal argument exception so here you can see it is saying that simple message converter only support string byte and serializable payload but here we are sending the json okay so that is why we are getting this error so let me try to go to the producer here you can see uh, with the help of rabbit mq convert and send we are sending one uh, json here right not a simple string if it is a simple string or byte stream it will be giving no error it will be published but we are sending the json message right so here you can see with the help of rabbit mq template we are converting and sending the json message right to this exchange and the routing key so this json message is not able to convert Okay, so the RabbitMQ does not have any uh, mechanism to convert this JSON message. That is why it is not able to publish it. So how we can uh, carry out our work, how we can uh, send the JSON message. So we need to create the bin of uh, the message converter and we need to inject that bin to the RabbitMQ so that the RabbitMQ can uh, uh, use that thing and try to convert our JSON message and then try to publish it. 
so how we can do it i will try to show you those things as well so let me try to go to the rabbit mq and here we need to create the bean of message converter as well as the amqp uh, template as well so let me try to do that as well so just come here create a bean of public message converter okay and make sure that this message converter should be coming from the amqp core okay so sorry message converter so you need to use this amqp support converter now just use this message converter and here we need to return return new jackson to json message converter okay that's it now we need to create the bean of the amqp okay and then we need to assign uh, this message converter to the rabbit template rabbit mq template okay so that we need to do so let me try to create the bean of uh, public amqp template get template and here we need to provide the connection factory as an argument okay now let me try to because uh, like we have to uh, inject this uh, message converter in the rabbit mq template why because in the producer if you'll see we are using this rabbit mq template which we have auto add here okay so this converter should be there in the rabbit mq template that is why we have uh, created the bin of the message converter and now we are using this message converter bin inside the rabbit mq template okay so rabbit mq template is an implementation of this amqp template okay now let me try to do that template okay now new rabbit mq template we need to provide the connection factory here and now rabbit mq template let me try to set the message converter set message converter and we need to provide the message converter which is uh, the bean which is the method that we have created which is returning the bean of jackson to json message converter so we need to provide it here so message converter okay and now we need to return the uh, rabbit mq template okay so that's it now we are good now let me try to rerun this application and try to hit the producer endpoint and try seeing if it is producing these things or not okay so just come here and just wait for a few seconds and you can see our application is up now let me go to the postman and try hitting this endpoint again and this time you can see we are able to see the response which is the order DDO. so we have the order and its status and the messages as well okay so that means our order is being published now let me try to go to the rabbit mq and try refreshing it and here you can see this exchange that we mentioned in the uh, config it is there so let me try to show you so if you go to the rabbit mq config go up our exchange is rabbit mq rabbit underscore mq underscore exchange and our queue is rabbit underscore mq underscore q and similarly our routing key is rabbit underscore mq underscore r underscore key so these things is already created because we hit the endpoint and our endpoint is working that means the message is being produced so our key is here if you'll go inside this key uh, you can see this key is binded to this queue with the help of this uh, sorry our exchange is here and if you'll go inside the exchange you can see our exchange is binded to this queue using this key okay and uh, if you will go to the queue our queue will also be created here you can see you will go inside it you can also see this binding okay and if you'll go down and if you'll click on the get message you can see uh, this order dto message or order response is coming here as well that means we are able to publish the message to the rabbit mq so what we are doing we are just hitting the end point and then our message is going to the exchange with the help of routing key it is going to the queue and then in the queue we can see these messages now our next work is to uh, consume that message so i will try to 
create one consumer here and try to consume that message which is uh, we are publishing okay so this is about the video if you like the video please hit the like button and please subscribe the channel for more such content thanks